number one, what is your name? My name is Kane Hodder, and Friday the 13th is my favorite day. Number two, what is your name? My name is Kane Hodder, and Friday the 13th is my favorite day. Number three, what is your name? My name is Kane Hodder. Friday the 13th is my favorite day. Only one is the real Kane Hodder and has sworn to tell the truth. Now, let's meet our panelists. Meshach Taylor, Paula Poundstone, actor Robert Hayes, and from the Cindy Margolis Show, Cindy Margolis. Here's the star of To Tell the Truth, John. Welcome to To Tell the Truth, so you all like Friday the 13th. Actually, I'm a big fan of casual Fridays. Well, you'll learn more about me and other things like that, but it's time right now to play To Tell the Truth. All right. You know the way the game is played. All three of our scary men here claim to be the real Kane Hodder. Two are lying, and only one has signed a statement swearing to tell the truth. Your job is to find out who that is. So please, please open your affidavits. Follow along with me as I read the sworn testimony of the real Kane Hodder. I, Kane Hodder, am the man behind the mask. For the last several years, I have put fear into the hearts of millions as the lovable Jason from Friday the 13th. As the current Jason, I have starred in parts 7, 8, and 9, and the only one to play him more than once. This horrifying experience has allowed me to be set on fire three times, shot over 300 times, electrocuted and blown to pieces twice. The public's scary appreciation for this cult character keeps me busy with conventions, haunted houses, and fundraising events. So, if you're tingling for more terror, prepare because the 10th film is on the way. Signed, Kane Hodder. panel and audience, all three of our gentlemen here claim to be the real scary guy. Jason from Friday the 13th. Which one is it? We'll start our questioning with me, Shaq Taylor. Mm, thank you, John. I'm scared. <laughs> uh, number one, wh when was the first movie made? What year? 1980. Uh, number two, who starred in the first movie? Uh, in what character? Uh, as, as the female lead in the first movie. That's good enough. Uh, Betsy Palmer. Okay. Uh, number three, who directed the first movie? Sean Cunningham. Okay, number three, what was Jason's first crime? Well, he, I mean, he drowned, he, he called it suicide, but he drowned in the, in the lake. Okay, number two, uh, you remember what Jason's first crime was? Ooh, we will never know unless Paula Poundstone oh, picks yes, up that will. line of oh. questioning. Uh, number two, what was Jason's first crime? Um, not really sure. Just say this number one number two number three i don't like these films um <laughs> number one how old are you um 39 years old mm -hmm. number two how old are you 45 and number three how old are you 33 okay so you all three are old enough to know better to, to make this kind of film <laughs> number three how do you audition for a film where you put a mask on and run around scaring people well it's it was more for the stunts than for the actual so there were people that were turned down for that role? Yes. Yeah. Somebody said, oh, well, you know what? That mask isn't good on you when you run around and look scary. <laughs> you get my point, number three, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> number one, what kind of name is Kane Hodder? <laughs> <laughs> okay, on to Robert Hayes. Uh, number one, what kind of name is Kane Hodder? <laughs> English in origin. <laughs> uh, number two, um, what's a squib? It's a small explosive device to simulate a bullet hit. Number three, uh, how many times have you been uh, squibbed? I mean, the most at one time. Well, in number nine, it was probably about 300 right at the start of the movie. All right, Cindy, how do you? Hey, hey, I don't know. I feel bad. I'm probably the only one in here who hasn't seen any of these Friday 13th movies. I haven't I know, seen so any of me. Oh, you haven't? I haven't seen, seen any of them. Okay, okay ask so them about I'll ask them. Um, is the, so, number two, is this the movie that, like, wasn't Johnny Depp in one of them? Is that the Friday the 13th movies? I don't believe so, no. No. Okay, number three, <laughs> is the 10th one I heard a rumor that, like, Jason and then that Freddy Krueger were going to be in a movie together. Is that true? I'd tell you, but I'd have to kill you. 
Okay, and number three, have you ever killed anybody? <laughs> Liter literally or in the movies? Uh, number one, uh, have you ever killed anybody? <laughs> The bell has sounded. Time is up, and time for our celebrity panel to lock in their votes. Without discussion, I might add, is it number one, number two, or number three? And I'll ask our studio audience here to cast their votes as well. And I'll remind you, at home, that we're going to pay our team of challengers $1,000 for every incorrect vote. If it's a clean sweep, and they fool all of our celebrities and the majority of our audience, the jackpot will be $5,000. And we'll be right back and find out how everybody voted and who the real Kane Hodder, Jason, from Friday the 13th, is right here on To Tell the Truth. Story that can stop our panel? Go to uproar.com and learn how you can be on to tell the truth. Welcome to Haunted Hollywood Squares! You know what's scary is this is the way I normally dress. Watch Mindy Sterling and Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, on Hollywood Squares Halloween Special! Tonight at 7.30 on Channel 5. to tell the truth? Go to uproar.com and find out how. Mm, all right, welcome back to a great edition of To Tell the Truth. One of our challengers is the real Jason from Friday the 13th. Kane Hodder, yes, the wearer of this mask. The other two are lying. Meshack, we'll begin with you. For whom did you vote? Thank you, John. Well, I tell you, uh, if number one was chasing me with an axe, it scared the hell out of me. Uh, but number two as well. Uh, I, I, I tell you, just based on physicality, though, uh, I think that if I were casting it, I would have to cast number two. Yeah, number two. I think it's number two. All right. All right. Follow? Well, I believe that it may have, and I may have to recuse myself, because I bumped into number one in the library where he was reading Sense and Sensibility. <laughs> I, I have him here with a stack of books, Pollyanna, Native Son, The Trial, Sense and Sensibility, that he reads during his break <laughs> from filming. So that he's a... You're suggesting that he is actually a well-rounded human very, being. Yes, right. yes. It's All only right. a little part of them that plays in the Friday the 13th movies. All right, Robert, on to you. There's a hard choice, but I just uh, mm. took a stab at it and made number <laughs> two. <laughs> Cindy, on to you. Okay, um, I don't know. Three does. He looks really sweet. Like, I could take him home to my mom, so he really doesn't scare me. But again, one and two really does. But two, I don't know, with the mask on, those beady eyes, I don't, he scares me. I'm going to go with two. <laughs> okay. How about the eyes? But we could be fooled. We'll find out if the audience thought that number three was also the guy you'd want to take home. <laughs> Ah, they went. Oh, they went for number two in time now to find out which one of our challengers is actually Jason from Friday the 13th. Will or real, Kane Hodder, please stand up. <laughs> Kane, have a seat. Have a seat. Come back to you in a minute. All right, number one, who are you and what do you do? Uh, Dave Powell, professional wrestler and uh, executive doorman at a nightclub in Las Vegas. And professional wrestler. All right. All right, number three. Now, they didn't believe that anyone with your face could be uh, Jason from Friday the 13th, <laughs> but who are you and what do you do? My name is Randy Shoptelay, and I'm a professional hockey player for the Long Beach Ice Dogs. the guy behind the mask. Really what position do you play? I'm a defenseman. A defenseman. <laughs> See? There's not all, there's not all sweetness behind no, that guy. Trust me. You don't want to... Uh, Kane, uh, a couple of questions. I mean, it's obviously, this is a, one of the great cult roles in, in film history. But when you went in, and tell us about auditioning for this. When you went in, they were... Uh, I was suggested by the director to come in and do a screen test, and I brought another stunt guy with me and uh, basically threw him around the room threw tables around and convinced everybody I had to play the part. And how long will this, uh, this franchise continue? Number 10 is in the works. Will this, uh, is there any end in sight? I hope not. Uh, we, we finished uh, Jason X, which is the 10th installment, 
and I think it's going to be the best one we've ever done. Well, they, they certainly make my, my, my toenails curl, and we'll have to send a, a special... We'll have to spend, uh, uh, send a special advance copy over to Paula, because I think she'll get a kick <laughs> out of it. Up, yeah. In number 10, he takes up golf. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you only got a single incorrect vote. That is $1,000. We thank you very much for being with us. And we'll be right back with more of To Tell the Truth. It's sponsored in part by... Hey, looking great. The Conair Rechargeable Beard and Mustache Trimmer. Moves in close, trims any style with laser precision. Looking great. The Conair Beard and Mustache Trimmer. Number one, what is your name? My name's Christy Maisie, and something's fishy. Number two, what's your name? My name's Christy Maisie, and there's something fishy. Number three, what is your name? My name is Christy Maisie, and there's something fishy. Only one is the real Christy Maisie, and has sworn to tell the truth. All right, welcome back to To Tell the Truth. Panelists, would you please open the affidavits that you have in front of you and follow along with me as I read the sworn testimony of the real Christy Maisie. I, Christy Maisie, rescue and rehabilitate marine mammals. As a senior animal care specialist at SeaWorld, I aid weak and injured animals, including a very special dolphin, Buster. We found him beached on the California coast at an early age. Because of his condition, he has not been able to return to the ocean. So we found a great way for him to make a home with us. I care for many wild creatures, including sea lions and harbor seals. But one of my largest patients was a famous orphaned gray whale, JJ. Working with JJ for over a year culminated with the great joy of seeing her grow from infancy to a healthy size, allowing her to be released back into the sea as the largest animal ever returned to the wild. And that is a job well done. Signed, Christy Maisie. What a wonderful story we have, panel and audience. All three of our ladies here claim to be the real sea life rescuer. Which one is it? It's your job to find out. We begin the questioning with Meshach Taylor. Thank you, John. Uh, number one, what is the smallest sea mammal? Uh, that would be the sea otter. Okay, number two, the difference between a dolphin and a porpoise. Uh, porpoise is much smaller than a dolphin. Uh, and number three, uh, how do dolphins kill sharks? Uh, I guess one way is by ramming into them. Okay. Uh, number two, what is the uh, gestation period for a dolphin? All right, Paula Poundstone. Number three, was the... Uh, in the movie Day of the Dolphin... Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> was it based on accurate dolphin information? Um, I'm sorry, I don't know what that movie is. You don't know the movie Day of the Dolphin? <laughs> no. I don't even have anything to say to you. <laughs> uh, number two, what's wrong with Buster? Oh, um, Buster was emaciated and had hypoglycemia when we found him. Uh-huh. Number one, do you like those Halloween movies? <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Not really, no. We don't like them, do we? No. Number three, do you like those Halloween movies? <laughs> Apparently, our producers don't like that line of questioning. <laughs> Robert, hey, well, Sonny, was a shorter you... time than usual, wasn't it? It really was. I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Robert Hayes, on to you. Number two, do you know the work John C. Lilly did? Uh, no, I'm afraid I don't. Number three, do you know what he did? Can you repeat the name? John Lilly, John C. Lilly. I've heard of him. Number one. No, I'm sorry, I don't. Okay, that's it. You're all fired. <laughs> <laughs> what do, uh, number three, what do seals like to eat? Um, fish and squid. Number two, um, uh, what do dolphins like to eat? It's the same, fish and squid. Fish and squid. <laughs> okay. okay. Cindy, on uh, to you. Number one, why do whales beach themselves? Um, number one reason is typically uh, malnutrition. Okay, number two, I've been to SeaWorld. How do they train um, the dolphins and the seals to do those amazing tricks? Uh, the same way you train dogs or cats, give them rewards for doing the right thing. It's natural behavior, so we're not training them to do anything strange to them. 
Okay, number three, I would love to swim with dolphins, and I looked it up on the internet. I know there's only like five places in the world that you can actually swim with them. Can you name a couple? All the zero parks you can swim with dolphins. Okay, number one, can you name any other places? All right. The ball has sounded. Time is up, and time for our celebrity panel to lock in their votes without discussion. Is it number one, number two, or number three? And at this point, I'll ask our studio audience to cast their votes as well. I'll remind you at home, we're going to pay our team of challengers $1,000 for every incorrect vote. And we'll be right back and find out how everybody voted and who the real Christy Maisie is right here on To Tell the Truth. Name your own price and save at Priceline.com. Airline tickets, hotel rooms, rental cars, and more. Only at Priceline.com. All right, welcome back to To Tell the Truth. Which one of our challengers is the real sea life rescuer, Christy Macy? Meshack, we'll begin with you. For whom did you vote? Well, John, they answered all my questions uh, very well, but number three knew something that I think is a little known fact, and that is that dolphins really do attack sharks. And uh, they do kill them by ramming them. And she said it's so low key until I think she is the one who really knows what's going on. All right. Paul, on to you. Well, <laughs> I think the important thing here is not really who is the Chrissy woman, but that we all don't like those Halloween films. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, she, no, that number three, first of all, uh, she works outside, and so although she used to have dark hair like number one and number two, it has bleached out <laughs> as a result of being outside. I believe uh, that I saw her in a tank when I was at SeaWorld. <laughs> Robert Hayes. Uh, I, I, I thought they were pretty swell. I, um... I just figure if I keep voting for number two, eventually I'm going to get one right. <laughs> oh, all right. Cindy Margolis. It was really hard to tell. They were all good. I don't know. I, the puka shells I think number two's wearing, I don't know, that's kind of beachy. He's probably wearing them to throw me off, and I'm going to go with two. All right. <laughs> Sometimes the secret is in the jewelry. We'll find out now how our audience voted. Overwhelmingly for number two. Oh. All right. We have a blank ballot up there for number one. There could be a surprise here. Time now to find out which one of our players is the real sea life rescuer. Will a real Christy Maisie please stand up? Uh, Christy, we'll be back to you in just a minute. Number one, we'll begin with you. Thank you for being with us. Who are you and what do you do? My name is Lisa Strom. I'm a toy designer and I'm actually animal phobic. You're animal phobic. <laughs> and a toy designer at that. No animal toys, though. No, no animal toys. All right. Number two, the lion's shares of the vote went to you. Who are you and what do you do? My name is Teresa Allen. I'm a doctoral student in criminology at USC. You did a great job. Thank you both for being with us. Well, Christy, since the subject has been broached, everyone wants the answer. Is it possible to swim with the dolphins? Oh, yeah. yeah. Definitely and, possible. And it, it, all of the SeaWorlds have a, a program where you can do this? Is that true? Or? That's right. We also opened a new park called Discovery Cove, and that actually kind of, you know, focuses the main thing on swimming with the dolphins. Is wow. that right? I would imagine this, uh, you have to have a certain amount of training. You can't just, uh, you know, a belly up to the bar, take a cannonball leap into the pond and expect one, <laughs> you know. I, I would imagine there's a certain amount of training that goes into this. Tell us about that. Right. We do yeah. have an hour educational program prior to swimming where they teach you about the animals and also the safety involved with going in with the animals. A lot of the injuries are actually man-caused, aren't they? Tell us a little bit about that and may maybe how, in, in some ways, we can help. Well, definitely one of the causes is pollution. So I'd encourage everybody when they... Uh, get six-pack rings on their sodas to cut them up, and also fishing lines. So if you go out and fish, don't throw your fish in, or your fishing line into the water. Go ahead and take it back with you and dispose of it properly. Because animals do get those caught around their neck, and it does cause very traumatic injuries. 
And apparently the plastic soda rings are a real big problem, aren't they? Because they, they, they will end up sometimes, sometimes with a, around they, the fish's nose? or um, They usually end up around sea lion or harbor seal's necks. Mm -hmm. That's the most common. Yeah. They're also working on educating those animals uh, not to put their noses through those rings. <laughs> Thank you for being with us. Um, you have one, two, three incorrect votes, $3,000. Split among our team of challengers, bringing us sadly to the end of the show. And we thank our celebrity panel, Meshack Taylor, Paula Poundstone, Robert Hayes, and Cindy Marker. Introducing the holiday stuffing you can enjoy every day. New Genuine Butterball Stuffing Broth and Gravy. Your period? Missed it? Now there's a clearer line between being pregnant or not with new improved Clear Blue Easy. Period. From Jennifer Convertibles and Jennifer Leather, it's no interest, no payments, no down payment for one year at Jennifer Convertibles and Jennifer Leather. If you'd like to play more, go to uproar.com. <laughs> See you tomorrow. We love you. We'll see you here on The Family Feud. Show until next time. This is Peter Tumarkin on behalf of the Focati Rug saying thanks for pressing your luck. Bye-bye. So anyway, we have just 10 seconds to say goodbye. We'll see you uh, tomorrow. So long. Bye-bye. Yeah. We got we five seconds. Oh, no. We have three, two, one. Bye. Bye.